what you are seeing right now is a product that is a product that took about four five years to develop okay and it was never like this four or five years ago we literally had only one small um, structure to for the plants and slowly things develop in both ways and not only that we are growing the things uh, some are plants on the other side of the field and there are some plants at the school fence and some other places Hi Assalamualaikum Ahmad Bakhtia here or my students call me Mr. B by profession I'm a lifelong outdoor educator alright so thank you so much if you are watching this video I really appreciate it if you have watched my past videos I'm much much more appreciative uh, hopefully there's been something which you have learned from my past videos so for today's video I'm gonna just be sharing uh, another lesson about gardening from gardening um, well as I've shared in my past videos due to the pandemic a lot of people a lot of people are starting to pick up the green skills uh, trying to be greener they plant more plants I think it's awesome we, we are seeing lots of uh, you know urban farms um, growing at, um, at buildings and homes that's fantastic and yes good job to all of you who have picked up um, you know gardening okay um, there's so many benefits that you can get, get up gardening and um, yeah it's really a journey of discovery myself I've been trying to grow plants uh, for about the past uh, six seven years about that um, yeah it's been truly a great journey okay now for today's uh, video um, it's actually quite central to something that's been happening uh, in my organization um, the, the main point which I'd like to share for today um, which is actually linked to my past two videos uh, one which I shared about how the environment affects uh, how we grow okay and the second video is about um, how the plants actually teach us about being resilient linked to these two topics about the environment and about resilient is the is this uh, you know small uh, issue about change in fact change uh, if I'm sure most of us are aware that uh, change is part and parcel of our life there's uh, you know there's you cannot run away from change uh, yeah there's always be there always be changes around even if you have actually you know found the perfect spot to 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 put your plant or to germinate your plant or to sow your plant um, due to climate changes due to weather changes there will still be change okay so inevitably change change all around us um, some change is good for us some change is bad for us but well when i say bad it doesn't really mean that it's uh, negative for us because uh, we believe that you know anything that's happened to us is actually for the goodness of us okay uh, so, yep so what i mean by change which is bad i meant challenging change okay yeah so for some people uh, certain changes that happen around them alhamdulillah is for the is, is easy for them Okay, whereas for some people, uh, certain change that happened to them is quite challenging. Okay, now, first and foremost, the one critical um, thing to remember when we face change is that you can't run away from change. You cannot change the change actually. It will sooner or later come. Okay, but what you can do actually is um, internal with regards to yourself so with regards to this garden which I just shared just now um, that we've been through lots of changes regulation changes weather changes in fact where where we are 
you know uh, well, where I'm showing it right now it was actually we used to have tall palm trees to shade the to shade the plants but it was then removed to to allow the younger plants to grow uh, it was supposed to be for a good change in fact like I say again every change is good so when we remove the when we remove the palm trees uh, so we don't have large leaves falling on the plants again that's good but it in a way resulted in exposing the younger plants to the elements okay so so that change um, you know got us to think uh, what we can do to actually protect the plants okay so we had to do lots of things like making sure the plants are well fertilized uh, well watered uh, trim regularly remove the weeds a lot of things right uh, once in a while when there's when we can't help it we have to dig up the plant and shift it to a better place uh, that's what I mean you know uh, you can't really change the things that goes around you right you can't really change them um, so at the end of the day it all boils back down to you yourself uh, you have to think of ways to actually adapt to it all right uh, to be resilient that was I said in the, my past video um, yeah and do have faith that uh, wherever you are which, whichever environment you are at uh, well, inshallah, you are meant to be there. You are meant to grow and bloom in that environment. And inshallah, that environment will make you to become a better person. Okay? So, this is just a short, uh, this is just a short life lesson which I get. Um, when I look at this garden, which we have been trying to take care of for the past uh, four to five years, uh, there's a lot of challenges, but alhamdulillah, um, well, we just have to persevere. Um, when things go bad, when things change to become challenging, uh, we must also have the faith that it will also change back to become good for us. Okay? Yeah. So, inshallah, if we get to the garden, uh, inshallah, you know, um, the plants will grow. We are heading to the holidays and the plants will be technically almost on their own for about a month um, yeah so hopefully they are well taken care by the greater forces out there so yeah do me do all for us okay so once again um, well in this video if you had actually gained something uh, that is definitely definitely from the almighty um, any shortcomings that is in this video in this video definitely comes from me uh, so I see, I see your apologies for that Okay, so um, and in any way that this video has benefited you, feel free to subscribe to it, feel free to like the video, I would really appreciate it. Or you can also, you know, share to other friends that, that may also benefit from this video. Okay, inshallah, I will see you again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.